Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sacred Tarot by Nicole. I'm very excited to have you here today for introduction of my tarot cards and my tarot card books that I have been studying for the past 20 years. Now I want to start off right away by letting you know about the first tarot deck I used. So the first tarot deck I used was a deck by Mary Hansen Roberts. It was a great beginner deck and as you can see they're quite small the cards. They, I don't even know if they make them like this anymore. Um, Mary Hansen Roberts might still make them and you can probably find them on Amazon. But if I do, I do recommend shopping locally and if you can find these in a local shop. Mary Hansen Roberts does a great job with the illustrations. So when you're first starting tarot, you really want the illustrations to stand out because you want to be able to read the card intuitively um, by looking at the illustrations, but also by studying. You really want to feel the energy coming off the cards. So Mary Hansen Roberts, that's my first deck that I got when I was gifted when I was 15 years old. This is the case that I keep it in. It used to be an old chocolate box from Rogers Chocolates and it's great because it protects them. They're like 20 years old so I have to make sure that they get kept in good condition. I used to wrap them in this which is silk. A silk or a silk scarf that was gifted to me by a spiritual guide of mine so I wrap those I still wrap this when I'm doing in-person readings I haven't done a lot of in-person readings in a while because of uh, COVID I, I moved my tarot readings to online now and as you can see on my YouTube channel I do use a lot of different decks I really like to use this one pretty consistently because I'm so drawn to them. They are my favorite deck. Now this is the book that came with my cards. I had actually lost this book and I recently just found it because I moved so I was able to look through some of my stuff and so this is how I learned. So this traditional Celtic cross is what I use for most of my private readings and like that's that would be one of my full readings and then for a general reading I use the the four card layout. Yeah, so this is this is how I learned. But you know, when reading books, you know, you got to be it's subjective. So I feel like really being well rounded is reading a ton of tarot books, but also using your own tuition involved in that. So the next book I used was the tarot Bible. This is a great one. This is a really amazing book. And I use this you can see it's like in pretty rough shape. So I this is what I used for the last 20 years religiously. So I just also want to mention that these are decks that I have already used. So this over here and these three here are my newer decks. Now I've used the two on the bottom, but this was actually, this is actually a brand new one that I'm going to introduce right now. And it's the circle of life. And why it's the circle of life is because they're in the shape of a circle. I love this. So this is the first time I've ever used a tarot deck in, that's in the shape of the circle. Uh, now these illustrations are a little harder to decipher and, and they're very, very detailed. Uh, so nine of pentacles. They're, I'm getting used to them. I'm working with them intuitively. They're, another thing with this tarot deck is the Circle of Life, the book, comes in five different languages, I believe. English, Italiano, Espanol, Francais, Francais, Duchess. And I can't, I cannot read the last one. I don't know if anybody can see that one, that last bit. But, so what I love about this tarot deck too is that this tarot deck is from Italy. And Italy is where it all started. Italy is where the tarot card readings, well, they were used as playing cards in Italy and France and as early recorded as in 1400s. So that's why this deck is very special. And right now I'm just practicing with them. You may see them in a couple of my pick a card readings very soon, but right now I'm, I'm getting to know them and connecting with them. That's very important too, is to connect with your tarot cards. Now, this is a tarot deck that I was gifted to by a friend of mine, Emily, the steampunk tarot. I love these because they're, they're, they're different. They're, they're not bright like some of the cards. Like a lot of the tarot cards I have are very bright and these are a little darker, which I like. I like the dark side of them. And so steampunk tarot kind of goes, touches on the dynamics of 
you know, humans versus machines. These cards showcase the dynamic, the diversity between nature and devices. So they're really cool cards. I really, really enjoy them. And that's the, the High Priestess. And illustration there, she's the fortune teller. So this illustration is by Ali Fell. This is the book that came with it. Really, really cool book. I, I've, I've learned a lot from this book. Now, I also want to introduce here, these cards are my Paulina Tarot cards. Now, these ones, the illustrations, again, are really pretty, pretty hard to see. And I try to bring them really close up to the screen to get a good look at them. So this is the tower. And you can see they're very, very detailed, but very small detail. So they're not, they're not as clear detail, but I'm really drawn to them. I really love them. I was gifted to them, actually, while she was a lady that came to me in the farmer's market. And she later became like an acquaintance. She came into the restaurant where I worked at in Squamish, British Columbia. And she just like, she's like, I don't like these cards. I'm going to give them to you because I just, I hope that you can find joy out of reading with them. And I really do. Like I, I'm just, I'm really connected with them. So thank you, Tamsin. <laughs> so that's, yeah, the four of pentacles there. There's some really beautiful illustrations here. And I have used those uh, cards for a couple of my pick a card readings. And this is the book that comes with it. And I, I just, I really like the straightforward simpleness of the inter interpretations of the cards with, uh, with Paulina Tarot. So Paulina Cassidy is the illustrator. Now here I have my spirit animal cards. And I've done one spirit animal reading uh, so far. And as you know, I'm a huge advocate for animals. I rescued Callie. I believe huge in adopt don't shop. I am just very, very big on with animals. So I probably will be doing a lot of spirit animal readings. Uh, and you know, if I ever got really big on YouTube, that would be one thing that I really want to do is to support uh, rescuing animals. Uh, my dream is to have an animal rescue one day. I keep on telling my partner a little side note about me that if we can't have a child because we will be trying for a baby uh, very soon but if we can't conceive uh, I would like to have a dog rescue but I said you know what we're gonna have a dog rescue no matter what. <laughs> it's just it's my dream. I want to save all the animals and especially dogs. I just I adore dogs. And cats too. Cats are really lovely. Like all animals are really lovely, but I'm very, very drawn to dogs these days. Okay. And then the spirit animal, there is this book here. So the spirit animal messages, seek inspiration from your animal guides. So I have one spirit animal, uh, pick a card reading on my YouTube channel so far. Uh, so Susie Green is the illustrator here. Give you a couple. Like there's the bee. Bees are very important for our environment. We got to save the bees as well. So this is, this is a nice card that I, I drew right away. And here is my last tarot deck that I use. I lost the book for this one. I was on a flight and I believe something spilt in my bag and it just completely ruined the book. This was gifted to me by my mother. Oh, I should mention the spirit animal uh, cards were also from my mother. My mother is very witchy, just like me. <laughs> but I actually was the one interested in occult way before she uh, she was. And she got inspired from me, which is really, really neat. You know, usually it's the other way around. The, the parent is the one that's interested in spirituality, the old call, and I just got into it on my own. I was just feeling, I just naturally was gravitated towards it. And she became very spiritual. Uh, she now follows Wiccan. I, I don't identify with Wiccan, but I'm very, very interested in Wiccan and it's it's just an amazing religion. But my mother is, identifies as a, as a Wiccan and I love it. I just love everything about Wiccan, the Wiccan culture. Now these cards, are The Art of Tarot by Liz Dean. Uh, I, I like them. They're pretty straightforward. They are more like a, a simple illustration. So this could be another deck that could be really good to start with, to learn from. So that's the Wheel of Fortune there. I really like the, the tree on the back, but one thing that I kind of get a little frustrated with with tarot cards, maybe illustrators don't realize this, but when the card is reversed, 
people can see it, you know, and that can really affect a reading. As you can see, like this, this, you wouldn't know if it's reversed. Okay. Same with, uh, oh, actually the steampunk is a little, you know, same thing, the reverse thing. And I do read reverse cards. Uh, some, some tarot card readers don't read reverse cards, but I do. And, you know, it's one thing that you, you just don't want any biased opinions when, especially when doing pick a card readings, uh, because you can see if the pot, if the card is reversed. And we now have my, the Oracle cards. So Gaia Oracle, I've been working with this one for a little while now. I really, really like this, the Gaia Oracle. I actually have a niece named Gaia. It's a, it's a really beautiful name, Mother, Mother Earth. So Earth, Earth Mother. So there we go. And I love Oracle cards. I haven't been working with Oracle cards for very long. They send a very direct message there. I usually don't even look in the book ever for Oracle cards because they have a really nice message right on there. So perception power beyond the veil of illusion. And then you can see illustrations in this card. Well, she, her, her third eye is lit up and same with her throat chakra. So you can look at these illustrations and you can tell a lot from the card just by looking at it and using your intuition. And that illustrator is Tony Carmen Sa Salerino. Salerino. So Tony Carmen Salerino. Now I want to bring up the Ryder Wyatt Tarot because this is a lot of people's first tarot deck they go for. And huge fans of Ryder Wyatt. I started with Mary Hansen Roberts and I, I loved her. And I think they're very comparable uh, with the illustrations. And all these cards, everybody is unique in their own way. So when you read cards, it's your own way that you develop your reading, your reading style, your unique way. And, and not everybody's going to like me. Not everybody's going to like the next tarot card reader that I, I know and I work with or, or I um, am friends with, right? So you just, everyone's unique in their way and their abilities. So, um, but back to the tarot Bible, uh, Sarah Bart Bartlett, love her. She's she does a really good job really getting a true description of tarot cards in here. All right. Now I want to introduce my last two Oracle cards. Oh, actually I want to bring this up first. My crystal book by Judy Hall. Great book to learn about crystals. I use a lot of crystals in my pick a card readings and I really like to go through this to kind of get the energy from the crystal. And I don't look at my cards before I draw them. So sometimes like when I match the crystals with the cards, it's, it's more of like an energy thing and an intuitive thing. So, but I really like to know sometimes, especially say like I'm, I have a reading that like a lot of financial stuff comes up, uh, and I use green adventuring. Well, it, it, it lines up and a lot of the times that happens where it just it just magically lines up and so green adventuring it attracts money and financial success and abundance so I, it's it, it's always like really interesting to me when I line up a crystal with a reading when I don't know what's on the other side of that reading and I flip them and I'm like wow it just the crystal was just it was so suited for that that pile so we have work your light oracle cards I absolutely love the illustrations. I'm so drawn to these. I saw a different tarot card reader on YouTube use these and I just, I got so drawn to them that I had to find them. And then I actually found them in a local shop around where my mother lives. And they just stood out to me. I was like, I need these cards. It's like I manifested them. I did. I manifested the cards into my life. So you can see the beautiful illustra illustrations here. So boundaries, where you need to establish better boundaries, inner temple, uh, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. They're just really beautiful cards. I, I just really love the colors too. I'm very drawn to them. And we have messages from the mermaids. And of course, mermaids, anyone born in the early 80s or mid 80s will <laughs> resonate with this, that Little Mermaid was probably their favorite movie. Uh, so I do love the illustrations on here too. They're really, really beautiful cards. 
Um, and again, just, you know, being a mermaid myself, I pretended to be a mermaid growing up all the time. So messages from the mermaids, I, these cards really spoke to me and I love using them. All right, well, that is an introduction of all my cards that I have so far. But as most tarot card readers or even energy workers using tarot cards and oracle cards as a divination tool, they will have a collection and it, pro it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And, and these are some of the decks that I'm very close to. I really love my tarot decks and I really wanted to share how I'm connected to them and the feeling I get from them and just, you know, how I'm doing my readings and, and how I pick my cards when I go into a pick a card and why I'm so attached to to some cards and sometimes you'll see more cards than others in my pick a card readings and that's why. All right thank you so much for tuning into my channel and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to get more of awesome videos please do. Thank you. Sacred Tarot.